Are you stuck on how to do effective outreach on LinkedIn? Or maybe you're wondering how AI can help you drive more business and appointments and save you time and energy. Well, today is your lucky day because I've found the most amazing AI LinkedIn outreach extension and I want to share it with you guys. I know, I know. Don't say I don't make the most valuable LinkedIn content on YouTube. Let's go. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For those that are new here, my name is Jacob Satiris. I am a digital director for a training company, and also I run my own LinkedIn growth agency. And on this channel, I share tips and tricks that I personally use to land clients on behalf of my clients. And today I'm so excited because I've been searching for an AI tool to help streamline the outreach process and help me save time. And I think I found the one. Now I will say, before I go any further, outreach is obviously not the only element within an effective LinkedIn strategy if you want to really get the most out of the platform. You need to have an optimized page, a solid content strategy, an outreach mythology that drives people to take action. All the stuff I talk about on this channel. So whilst I'm going to share with you something that I truly believe will help you generate more leads and appointments, don't neglect the other parts of your strategy. And if it helps, I've left a link in the description directly to this AI software from the video, along with my LinkedIn profile link where you can connect with me and message me direct if you're looking for LinkedIn profile optimization, strategy sessions, or LinkedIn growth management, and anything in between. And a few other links are chucked down there as well, so go and check it out. Right, so what is this AI outreach software that I've absolutely fallen in love with? Introducing Outreach AI. Again, link in the description if you want to get involved early before everyone else starts using it. Now, they have a great web app. For, for now, I'm going to focus primarily on the free Chrome extension. Oh yeah, did I not mention? It's totally free. I mean, they do have a pay plan, which is an absolute steal for the amount of value it can bring. But in this video, I will be sticking to the free version so as not to exclude anyone from getting involved. Right, without further ado, let's hop into the laptop and show you how I personally use this and how simple it is to create and generate really specific and effective outreach messages using AI. Hey guys, so we are in Outreach AI. You can see outreachai.co for all of these you're wondering. And this is kind of their homepage. I'm not gonna spend a load of time on this because I just want to show you um, the actual application itself. So cool, no credit card required, it's all free, but you can add the Chrome extension, which is super powerful. So I'll just come across, this is actually the dashboard. Again, I'm not gonna spend loads of time on this part. I want to show you it in action, but you can kind of set yourself up in here and you'll see there's a lot of settings, which I'm gonna go into in a bit more detail in a second. Um, but it's really good. I mean, you can even save favorite, say you've got a, a message that was an outreach that you really loved it created and you wanna use it for other people, just save it as your favorites. You can come back and check that out. But let's just go, I've just found somebody random's uh, profile. Let's say this is someone that you want to do some outreach to. So we have a little open, uh, the outreach AI up here. And this is, so we've got different parts to this. So who's sending it? This is obviously me. I could change my name if I wanted to, to whatever. I could just have my full name rather than my title. It's addressing here, who will this message be sent to? So you can see it's extracted this data from the profile. This has all just been pulled right in, in the moment. It's been pulling this data across and it gets even more impressive in the moment. Um, the context of the meeting. So I actually skip down and then I come back up. So we've got, what is the call to action? What do we want to achieve? And we've got some options here. So a lot of people will be looking to book meetings, um, maybe schedule a call, pay a compliment, or ask a question if you're trying to get the conversation flowing with them. Now, I'm more of a get straight to a call kind of person. So let's schedule a call. And the purpose of the call, I want to see how, uh, what's the context of the meeting? Whether we can help with LinkedIn strategy. Now you can go into as much or as little detail with this as you like. Um, I'm just gonna keep it as this. This is kind of my context. This is whether what I want to achieve whilst we're on the meeting to see if that's a thing. This is great, by the way, this next part. So select your tone of voice. This is probably my favorite part because it allows you to actually bring in that personality. So it's extracting all the data from the profile, but it's allowing you to decide, is this a really high-end professional person that needs a formal message or maybe 
you know them and you're just saving yourself some time so you can make it funny. For me, I'm informal. I'm pretty relaxed as a business operator. I think humans are humans and we should interact that way. So I like informal because I feel like it, it's, it's a nice mix between being professional, but also having a bit of fun. Then we've got length of message. You can either go long or short. I always recommend, especially in the early stages, go short. Um, it, you can see here it's roughly around 300 characters. That's where the AI is gonna pick up this information and use that, so it's gonna keep it fairly short. Um, I don't think you should be bombarding people. I received an outreach message <laughs> just the other day, and I actually messaged back saying, this is too long for me to read. So I didn't read it. They got no engagement from me. All they got was my reply back just saying it's too long. If it was, it was. I'm not going to spend my time doing it. Keep it short, concise. AI can do that for you. Now, this is great because, as you say, this AI software system is taking the information from the profile. Now, you can choose where it takes it from. So maybe there's some recommendations that this person's got on their profile that you think are really valuable to use. I like using the LinkedIn bio. So you can see instantly it's taken all the information from this individual's LinkedIn bio to help it craft the message. So at this moment, it's going to use the bio information it's going to create a short message that's fairly informal trying with the goal the call to action that's trying to book a call and this is what that call is generally going to be about so it's really good and we're just going to click generate whilst it's generating we can kind of scroll the page we can have a look at the individual just for anything see if they're posting frequently stuff like that and whilst we're doing that you will notice that this down here in a moment will pop out a nice message for you to send and you just get to basically scroll down and have a look at that message so here we go Hey Carl, stumbled upon Inspired Works, which is the business, and love your forward thinking approach. Fancy a chat about LinkedIn strategy and how we can help. Let's connect. Punchy, to the point, professionally written, but again, it's fairly informal. So exactly what I asked it to do. I didn't want it to be really strict or really silly. And actually I quite like that. So I'm gonna save that as a favorite that I can come back and just copy and paste it another time. And you'll notice if I go back to the main page here, oh look, I Carl stumbled across. It's taken it back to this main web page that we've got so we can use them ourselves on other customers. Now, let's say I'll use Kyle again and I actually want to ask him a question. Um, it's for LinkedIn. Oh, let's spell strategy 2023. I want to ask him a question. Again, I'm going to keep it fairly informal, though funny's pretty good for me. Informal works. I want this to be a 300 character short again using that information. So all I've done really here is I want to ask a question and about his LinkedIn strategy moving forward. So I can't stress enough. AI has a tendency of making things feel very inhuman. When I found this, it was mind blowing that we're able to actually do this in such a personalized way. Hey Carl, as a fellow founder, I'm curious about your LinkedIn strategy. How do you plan to leverage this platform for InspireWorks? It's almost indirectly saying, hey, I can see that you don't really have a plan. Should we hop on a call? But actually it's just asking that question, opening up the conversation in a really friendly and genuine way. I am blown away by this. I hope this is impressing people because AI is moving forward fast and this is just if you get in with this now and utilize this, you'll never have the brain fog. You'll never get stumped on what to say to people. It's doing the hard work for you. So this is Outreach AI, guys. Now, as I say, I've been using this and absolutely loving it. I mean, how it can extract the important data that I want to include in my outreach to make things feel more personal to the person I'm sending the message to. And also, as I'm a bit of a stickler for outreach that just feels like a rubbish sales pitch, I find that this AI software acts more human and allows you to kind of adapt your speech to sound more authentic, which is massively important on a platform such as LinkedIn with professional business people on there. For those of you that want to give this a go, there is is a link in the description and honestly I just recommend trying it because if you're looking to up your LinkedIn outreach game I mean AI is only going to help and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe for more LinkedIn related content leave a comment below telling me what you'd like me to cover in future videos and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps us smaller creators to reach a wider audience and I appreciate it a lot thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in another one